Okay. Hello. I look like a toad. It's because I feel like a toad. I haven't sat down and done a video like this for you guys in a while, so I thought I would quickly come on and talk about residences here at Western real quick. If you guys have applied and gotten in, congratulations. Super exciting. Hopefully Western is the one you want to go to, but I know that once you start filling out residence stuff, I'm pretty sure you have to put a deposit in. Hopefully that means you're committed. So many people have been asking me questions about like, how do I get Ontario Hall? How do I pick my residences? Do I do that when I'm applying? I'm confused. Um, so I thought I would try and answer as many questions and kind of walk you guys through it. After you get accepted, you then move on to figuring out your res staff. How it works is you go through the buildings and you rank them from favorite to least favorite. And if you have a certain above a certain average, they'll give you within your top three for sure. There's a lot of questions about the residence styles. There's two types of residences. There's traditional, there's suite style, and then there's hybrid. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen my, my room tour from when I was at Ontario Hall, but Ontario Hall and Perth Hall are hybrid styles, and that is basically a combination of traditional and apartment style. But traditional is very traditional, obviously. You have your room with, your, with or without a roommate. Hybrid and traditional have roommate options. The suite style ones, you have like four suite mates and you have what you have a room to yourself floor share bathrooms that's pretty much the biggest difference a lot of people really like the hybrid because you have a whole bunch of people that you're living with but you also have your own bathroom which is nice because sharing bathrooms i don't know i never experienced it but i can't imagine it being very cute bring your stuff to and from the shower i would hate that so that's kind of why people tend to choose hybrid over traditional of course the sweet styles it's like you have your own kitchen the only residence style with a kitchen like you share a bathroom with another person and very like apartment building style but you can definitely go on um, western residences to get this list again delhi medsit and sogeen are the three traditional ones and honestly is like not fun sounding as like sharing a bathroom is these residences like everyone i know who went to these residences loved it like you're gonna have fun and like you meet so many people and you get closer with your floor especially if it's not covid i don't think very many people complain goods definitely outweigh the bad honestly if i were to choose a residence again and not choose ontario hall i would probably do like delhi or medsid Hawking is known as the zoo so it's pretty busy that would be too much for me medsid has i'm pretty sure a fair amount of partying i don't know to be honest i never went to medsid yeah yeah Delhi's like a smaller residence, but the location is really good. So you can definitely take a look at the website and see like kind of where they are in relation to the campus. It also lists the prices, of course, like because you can get a double room, you're paying less, not by much, but you're paying less versus a single room. Same goes for suite style because you have many more amenities, like the whole kitchen and that. You're paying a lot more for that as well. The hybrid buildings are Ontario Hall and Perth Hall. I was in Ontario Hall. Um, I really liked it. Ontario Hall is like the newest res and like our cafe is supposedly the best. I really liked O Hall. You have the option again of double and single rooms. There's lots of study rooms and then like the lounge study hall on each floor is like there's a little shared sink but like no kitchen or anything like that. A lot of people ask me how specifically I got O Hall and honestly it's like it was a draw. Everyone asked me if there's a specific thing you can do to get the residence that you want and honestly like obviously try and get your best average um that's gonna help you make sure you get at least your top three if you want a certain style honestly i think with like roommates i feel like if you list like everything perfectly you i feel like you have a higher chance of getting what you want if you're like rooming with someone yeah so definitely like if you want you can do the random roommate assignment which is like fun i feel like usually it works out as long as you're filling out the roommate questionnaire as honestly as possible otherwise apply with the roommate a lot of people find roommates on the facebook group so definitely try and do that if you are looking to know your roommate before you get there <laughs> um, abby and i really lucked out uh, we got pretty much our first choice so i know that like my, my friend maya applied she thought she was gonna get o hall if she applied with her friend and like same circumstances grades probably the same and like she's gonna work out so it really is kind of luck of the draw you're just gonna have to hope for the best there are some hacks that people do to get into o hall um, i know a couple of people who fake doctor's notes or got their parents to write notes that they need to be with a certain person with a certain living style because of their anxiety or whatever reason that you want to list um 
so I know that's a thing. But yeah, Western does it really fair. Um, kind of going back to the fees, when you live in residence, I for every residence hall except for Lambden Hall, you have to pay a residence meal plan fee. Of course, living in residence is a little bit more expensive, but it really is a really good experience. I feel very privileged to have gone to residence. It is a lot more expensive, but it's fun. And I think if you can find a way to do it, it's definitely a really good way to meet people. A lot of people ask about the specific floors. I don't remember what they call them, but like they have like a different floor for like a different program that you're in and those will be in random buildings. So if you apply to be in one of those specific halls, I think that also helps give you that like residence, so maybe add that too. But I know a lot of people think you have to go with that specific program floor, but you absolutely do not. It's just another option for you if you want to find or live with like other like-minded people because of these floors. Like Essex was known to be like the end building. I don't know if it changes per year, but like the end floor was in Essex and Essex always got absolutely demolished and kids are work hard, play hard. So they really went off. Um, when choosing your residences, it's really like personal preference. I can't tell you what to do. I think it's really important to go online and look for like these room tours and seeing if like that's something that you can picture yourself living in. Um, again, with the roommate, like whether you have someone specific you want to live with or whether you want that single or double. I think a lot of people have fun no matter where they're put. At first, when you don't get the first choice that you wanted, it can be a little upsetting, but you meet a lot of people. Um, the softs, the resident softs there are good. It's luck of the draw. Um, you hope for the best. Obviously, you're not going to get what you want, but I think a lot of people have fun regardless. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not really the end all be all. You meet the people you meet and you're gonna have fun. So I know it can be kind of confusing and it can be anxiety inducing, but like I said, at the end of the day, everything's okay. Yeah, sorry if I look dead because you already know that. Yeah. Yeah. Too many Jagger bombs. I hope you guys are doing good. Really laid back video, very little structure to it. I hope you are understanding what I'm saying. I will see you guys hopefully next week. Final season is coming up. So I'm gonna try and film some videos ahead. Just gotta plan them out. But um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Hopefully not hungover. Because <laughs> apparently I'm no longer me being hungover. So it's a sad time for me. Anyways, peace. Peace and love.